You clicked because you want to know how to make that sexy sandwich right there. Let's get into it. So here is what we have for ingredients. We have shaved iceberg lettuce, honey, diced chipotles, and a brioche bun. Buttermilk soaked chicken, mayonnaise, cornstarch, and flour. I have breaded my chicken multiple different ways and I have found this to be the ultimate way to do it. We're going to make a batter. What we're going to do is we're going to take our buttermilk chicken that's been soaking in the fridge for at least an hour. We're going to add that buttermilk to a bowl and we're going to mix in our other dry ingredients to create a batter and that's going to give us that awesome crispy texture that you just saw. We're going to add our cornstarch in, we're going to add our flour in, and now we're going to slowly add that same buttermilk that the chicken was soaking in. And what we're looking for is a pancake-like consistency. Pancake batter consistency. So we will mix and we want it to be nice and thick. I may have added a little too much buttermilk, which is fine because I can just add a little bit more flour. Get rid of all the clumps like I said, make sure it's nice and thick. This is a little too runny. I'm gonna add more flour. We're gonna add a few pinches of salt and also a few pinches of pepper. And this is the consistency. I added a little bit more flour. That's what we're looking for. Nice and thick. So now we're gonna make our kinda spicy, not too spicy, chipotle mayo. Mayo. our chipotle and a little bit of salt and a little bit of pepper not too much just a little bit the mayo already has some salt in there and we're gonna mix that up all right so now we're gonna batter our chicken we're gonna place our chicken into the batter get it nice and coated we're gonna let some of that excess fall off. Then we're gonna place this into the fryer and I'm gonna place it into the fryer. I'm gonna put a little bit in at a time because I don't want it to stick to my basket. So we just slowly will start dropping it in, letting that batter cook. And now I'll drop away from me and let it fully go in there. We're gonna go about five minutes. It should be a nice golden brown and the chicken will be fully cooked. There's our chicken right there. Look at that awesome texture. Now while it's still hot, we're gonna take this out. We're gonna place it onto a rack just like this. We're gonna take the honey. And I'm gonna just leave the honey in the bottle and we're gonna literally just across the top, we're gonna give this a nice little glaze. Just like that. And that's it for the chicken. I saved this for the last minute because I don't want my lettuce to get all nasty. We're gonna add it to our mayo chipotle mix. We're gonna kind of make like what it, uh, a slaw. Just soppy. It. Get it nice and soppy, just like that. Now we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna build the sandwich. Nothing worse than a dry sandwich, so I'm going to put a little bit more mayo on the bread on both sides. Just like that. Now we'll assemble the rest of the sandwich. Okay, so this sandwich is absolutely amazing. The flakiness from the batter that it creates, it's not like that hard crispy chicken, it's more like a flaky tempura batter. Texture, awesome. The honey brings out some nice sweet tones, and then that smokiness from the chipotle and the nice crunch from the lettuce. Sandwich is truly amazing, definitely worth making. Look at that sandwich right there. Sexy.